Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is your monthly reading. Let's see what's going on, Sagis, for the month of May 2021. It is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. That's okay. Feel free to check out your other placements if you like. Um, let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Um, if you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys are busy. You guys are busy. You've got a lot going on. Six of Cups, wanting to make its appearance in many of these readings. So I feel like there is some kind of um, either reconciliation or someone that you've known for a long time. Um, you're either wanting to make a connection again with them or they are with you. So um, I'm sorry if that's not what you guys want to hear or you're looking for just new energy. There could be new energy that comes up as well as in the first couple of cards. But let's see um, where the reading takes us. What else is going on? Energy surrounding Sagittarius. Energy surrounding Sagittarius for the month of May 2021. Energy surrounding Sagittarius. Oh, yeah, there's the new beginning. Okay, cool. Someone wants a new beginning. There may be a complete, you know, ending of one cycle, beginning of another cycle here. So we've got the full energy, Aries energy. We've got um, King of Swords. Um, so... Uh, air energy, specifically um, Aquarius, but can also be Gemini, Libra. Um, okay, so I feel like uh, there are new opportunities here. Um, there are new opportunities. I feel like, Sagis, you're almost so uh, tied up in something that you're almost not seeing these new opportunities coming in. But I feel as though someone is getting ready to um, take some kind of a leap of faith towards you. And you might have a little bit of a decision to make. Um, you're quite busy. You've got your own stuff going on. This person um, is a little bit more laser focused on you than you realize. This person has that kind of uh, long term uh, view in mind and they're also willing to sort of take a leap of faith and, and sort of rush in towards you. It's going to come um, in terms of some kind of like communication, could be online communication. Um, this is someone who you may not even realize their feelings and I feel as though they're not on your radar but you're on their radar and I say that because this is someone who is very cool, calm and collected so they're not going to be the type of person that is super you know, open and expressive with their feelings, you're not really going to get it. This is a very analytical type of person. There are feelings there, but they definitely, um, um, you know, don't uh, have them sort of out. They're, they're not wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're not being very outspoken with regards to their feelings, but they're definitely wanting to or willing to take a new leap of faith towards you. Like I said, for some of you, it could be someone that you've met before or that you've known um, in the past and they're either seeing you in a new light or you're starting to warm up to them and see them in a new light. You know, when you're thinking back, you're thinking, hmm, actually, yeah, the memories of this person are quite nice. Maybe there is some kind of potential there. Interesting. Maybe for some of you, there was, there was something like blocking the connection. Like you tried to get closer to this person, but maybe they were like a little bit too serious or something, or maybe they were like in a relationship or you were in a relationship or vice versa. Um, whatever the case may be, there may have just been something blocking you two from ever kind of connecting properly in the past but that has somehow changed. It's like the timing, um, the timing is right. The timing is right. And I feel like you maybe weren't expecting it, but this person has reached out to you and then it kind of gets you thinking about it again. You're like, hmm, yeah, okay, that's that's an option. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be some sort of passionate new, <laughs> new start here. Um, I'm going to pull a few more cards because I don't know how much... Um, further it's going to go but definitely there's going to be um, a lot of passion it's like once this communication reopens or restarts um, and both of you are sort of on the same page or willing to give it a go um, he, there's going to be a lot of a lot of passion there unfortunately with that knight of wands energy especially which is your energy Sagittarius, um, there can be a little bit of back and forth and, you know, the fire can burn really hot 
um, when it's going, but then it can just as easily be extinguished and either you or this person can just then, you know, take your, your passion and your excitement and your interest somewhere else. But I do feel like you're very, very willing to explore, um, this option. Um, I feel like you may not even have realized in the past at how much sort of passion, physical attraction was lurking beneath the surface um, because this person was definitely not letting that show and you kind of thought it was never really an option so you didn't really kind of put much attention into it. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing that you're both, um, you're both single you're both single and and you're both ready to um to take that leap finally it's like you're it's like the right place right time like i was saying before so there could have been reasons why it just didn't happen and now it's got the green light it's got the green light from both of you i still am seeing both of you as very independent though as you've got you know a lot of other stuff going on other responsibilities other interests other things taking up your time um you enjoy your independent lifestyle they enjoy theirs so it's going to be a very interesting um combination of things um look it may end up uh yeah, it may end up that someone ends up a little bit disappointed, a little bit unsatisfied. Um, it's going to happen anyway. This passion has to go somewhere. So I feel like you are going to explore this situation. But unfortunately, someone might end up a little bit disappointed. And it could be because you just kind of take your passion somewhere else. It could be because they're kind of more... Um, interested or more focused on the future than you are and you've got other stuff going on man there could be um there could be kids uh getting in the way somehow as well like maybe your own kids or their kids or someone else's kids who you help like to look after or who you know are family members that you're kind of uh, responsible for there's something that um kind of stops you from completely uh dedicating yourself to to one person at the moment unless it's going to be someone really really sort of special and understanding if that makes sense and I feel as though you are very aware that you still have a lot of options so I don't see a very strong commitment vibe to begin with that could be what upsets this person at the end of the day I think there's going to be a lot of physical passion but ultimately um, both of you want to retain your independence and both of you don't really want to um, cave in or have to compromise too much in your lifestyle or the way that you interact with each other or deal with each other yeah but definitely um yeah definitely both of you one of you you know, I feel like one of you or both of you is going to feel like there's a bit of a victory associated with this. And what I mean by that is because um, there were all these blockages in the past or it just didn't happen in the past for some reason um, and it happens now, both of you are going to feel like, wow, this this is something that, you know, was unexpected, but it's cool. Um both of you are going to get a lot of excitement and feel, feel fulfilled, but the question is whether or not it's going to be lasting. And I feel as though this person is going to be disappointed for some reason. Um, ultimately, it's like they're looking for, for something different or they're looking for more um, commitment than you are, but you're just kind of exploring the opportunity. Anyway, so it'd be interesting to see how that goes um, for you guys, Sajis. If you do... Um, if you did like that and it resonates, don't forget to like and subscribe. I feel like that was a bit of a specific reading for a lot of you um, or, for, or for a few of you, I should say. Um, so apologies again. If that doesn't resonate, that's okay. Don't try to make it your story if it's not your story. Um, but if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.